welcome back to my channel. So today I did a kind of a different colorful look. Um, I'm doing yet again another TikTok and this one called for a little bit more color. So I just decided um, because I wanted to put up a video as well and I was going to do all this makeup, I might as well put up a video. So I mean, it's obviously not an everyday wearable look, but I mean, I don't know if you wear a lot of makeup, this would definitely be fine. It's definitely not my wearable <laughs> makeup anymore, but I used to wear makeup like this all the time. So I really still like it. Um, anyways, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, so the, I did a skincare routine already, um, so I'm not gonna go through all the steps of my skincare, but the one thing that I added to my skincare that I just wanted to um, do in this video was show you guys that I ended up getting the little gua sha little tool. I really like this one, this is the Amethyst. Um, I've seen a lot, um, I, I think the first time I saw it was um, Huda Beauty, she did like a thing on this. And then I just been seeing it all over, so I just decided let me pick it up. Because obviously you guys already know I use the little jade roller and the Nurse Jane roller. So I wanted to try this one because I love the way the feel of the little contoured thing just kind of fits right in your um, in the, your jawline and in your cheekbone. So I was like, I really want to try that. So I keep it right in my little refrigerator. I have, I think I've already showed you guys. I have a little refrigerator right here. Um, and I keep all my skincare in there so when I'm getting ready um, everything's nice and cool and then I still have the little I went from the little um, flawless um, one with the little rose quartz for the eyes but um, I'm just gonna do that and just show you guys really quick how cool it because it just feels sorry I have a little breakout right here but um, you just kind of put it on and I do like 10 um, passes like on each side um, and I just kind of basically start at the center and bring it up and <sighs> I can't even tell you how good this feels, you guys. It's like, it's like the best feeling of just, like especially when you just wake up and your skin's like kind of, you know, sensitive from, you know, sleeping and everything. And then you just like roll this on your face. It feels so amazing. Like, oh my God, I can't even tell you. I start from the bottom. Some people start from the top, but I just start here and just kind of pass it. Now I do it like 10 times on each side. Um, and then I move up. Um, one thing is you do want to have, because my skin's already prepared with the skincare, you want to make sure you have like a nice like moisturizer or something on there to really like um, make it slip. Because if you don't have like a good moisturizer or like a serum or something, um, it's just gonna like tug at your skin. But it's just gliding on so well because I already have my skincare on. So, um, but I just, I don't know why. I just kind of thought like I'm not gonna do a whole video just on this because it's not you know what I mean it doesn't take that much time but I just felt like I already did my skincare routine so I'll just show you guys this it, it, I mean I'm already doing it you know what I mean it doesn't take very much time at all um, you can also take that um, little side right here and you can kind of massage your temples um, another thing that's really nice about this is like when you like when I get off work and I take my makeup off and I just do this at night as well, it's just all the tension from the day just kind of goes away. <laughs> it's just so nice. So I just thought, like I wanted to show you guys this if you haven't used it or if you haven't, um, I know one of the girls at my work actually um, uses it. I'm gonna take this flat side right here and go like in a diagonal, like instead of going up like this, I'm going to diagonal starting at my brows. Um, but one of my friends at work was using it and she said how much she loves it because I told her I used Nurse Jane and, and the, you know, the flawless um, contour thing. And, um, oh sorry, I'm doing 10 on each side. And um, she told me about this one and I was like, so I did a little bit more research on it and it just seems like it's something that's really beneficial for your skin. It gets circulation going on. It just feels so good, especially when I have it nice and cold like I do right now. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just share it with you guys. Then take it flat and just kind of push up and go straight up. Um, there's so many out there that you could just, you know, Google it and get one of these little guys. Mine's the amethyst one. I know there's rose quartz. There's all different, like, little stones. But I just love it. And then you can go up your neck, too, just to get your double chin. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to throw this in with this video. I just thought I would kind of just show you a little add it to the skin. And this is driving me crazy that I have this like breakout on my chin, but I'm gonna put something on it right now so you're not staring at my chin while I'm doing everything else. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little concealer right there while I'm doing my makeup. So, and this one's just my skin tone, and that way it just kinda blends in with my skin as opposed to putting a highlighted one on and it highlights your blemish. 
So yeah, that's perfect right there. And while I'm at it, I'm using the um, Kevin Aquan SX06, which is basically more my skin tone. And I'm just gonna kind of go over my little dark spots as well. All that little hyperpigmentation that I have in my skin. And that way your foundation doesn't have to work as hard. Because what I wanna do today is a different type of foundation routine. I don't know if you guys saw, but I did a foundation routine um, that I had got from, actually I know that uh, Scott Barnes did one as well, but I did the one after Harouche. She did one with the underpainting where you do the contour first and then the foundation. And I really like that one because it just it's just like a, you don't have to wear as much foundation. So for this one, I'm gonna use the MAC palette. Um, I probably should have gotten the lighter one, but I kind of liked these darker shades um, because it's just for this. You want it to be a little darker since you're gonna be wearing foundation over it. If you're gonna be wearing it over your foundation, then obviously it has to be more your skin tone. But because I'm gonna be doing a foundation on top, I'm gonna go ahead and do the darker one. Um, and I'm just gonna take a combination of all of these sides. I would never use the black. Um, but I'm just gonna do um, a combination of the three on this side. And I'm just gonna do a little bit over here. And a little bit over here. I know it looks really crazy, it's very dark. But believe me, once it's blended out and the foundation's over it, it's gonna be fine. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. I'm gonna pop on my forehead the Exuviance um, Serum. I told you guys before, um, it's like a radiant serum and I really feel that it's been helping with my lines on my forehead. I had Botox over a year ago and I don't think, until this gets really, really bad or really deep here, I don't think I'll do Botox again. I only use that there. And then the, the, um, the primer that I've been using, it's the Glow Drops from Jekka Black and I got this literally off Amazon. Um, and it's just a high, it's like a highlighting um, primer. And I like it for my cheekbones, my nose. I'll show you right here where I literally just realized that I didn't have it on because I was putting the contour on first. And I was like, oh wait, I need my primer. So I put that on my cheekbones, I put it down my nose, and then I put it around my temples right here. And then, um, yeah, so since I already put that, let me just kind of put a little bit more, more of my contour back on really quick. And you see how when it's blended out, you barely see it anyways. So that's why I'm saying it needs to be a little darker if you're putting foundation over it, because you definitely don't want to lose that. So I'm gonna go and deepen my contour really quick, because like I said, you know, that's why you want it to be darker, because if you're gonna be wearing foundation, you don't want to lose all that, you know, contour. And then I will do my nose. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do it pretty harsh and I'm gonna use this little Jaclyn Hill brush that I got a long time ago that I have not dipped into for a long time. It's gonna look really intense because obviously with the straight line like this, it's gonna look really heavy. That's okay, because like again, I'm going over it with, with the foundation. So I'm just doing that, look how crazy. <laughs> and on camera, it looks really like orangey. In person, it looks more brown, so. I don't know how these people on, I don't know how to, I've already told you guys, I don't really know how to get my um, lighting perfect. Um, so. I can tell you that in person it de definitely doesn't look as red as it looks right there. It's dark, but it's not as red as that. It looks like orange, like Oompa Loompa orange on camera, but it's not. Um, I know it looks super crazy, but I'm leaving it like this because I want to put the foundation over it. So, so I'm gonna jump off really quick and just do my brows and then I'll come back and do the foundation over all of this. Okay, I'm back with my brows done and you can tell I have concealer around the top and underneath. Um, I leave the concealer on the top because that way when I put the foundation, I can just kind of blend those edges together instead of ruining my brows. So for foundation, I'm gonna use the Lancome Tent E Doll Ultra Wear um, Foundation and I'm just gonna do two pumps of that. And I'm gonna put it on with a kind of like a stippling brush. 
Um, this one is from Lime Life by Alco, and I got this a long time ago, and I haven't used it, but it's perfect for this because you do want a very light layer of foundation to go around the contour You don't and around your nose. You don't want it too heavy where it's going to like take over the whole thing. So I'm just going to literally like pat it in there so it gets into the brush and then just slightly start buffing underneath where the contour is. And then it'll just kind of start blending, melting it together. And you can see it's like the perfect color for me because it blends right to my neck. So I'm gonna go over my lips. And then I'm gonna take my forehead and just go in between. There's the contour right there and the concealer right there. So I'm going in between both. And I always like to use my little beauty blender just to kind of melt them together. And then I use this brush. I've always used this little Visanti brush um, to just kind of marry those colors right there together. Still lighter around the actual brow, but it's gonna not be such a harsh start and stop right there. It's gonna just make them kind of blend together. And then I'm gonna go really lightly over my nose because I don't want to cover up the whole nose contour that we did, but it definitely lightens it up. Go around the top of my cheeks here. And then I'm just gonna slightly, really lightly Kind of dab around the outside just to kind of get everything blended together. We'll do my eyes first. And today the will you know, it's going to be darker colors, so there might be a little bit of fallout. I'm not sure. So I am going to put the uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot all over my eyes. I recently started using this one again. If you um, have watched my channel since the beginning, I always used to wear this one or Painterly Paint Pot but I went away from it um, because they dried out and I wanted to try other stuff, but I recently picked this up again and I, I'm i so happy that I did because I miss it. <laughs> it's nice and creamy, it's a great little shadow base. So today's look, um, like I said in the intro, um, I am doing a TikTok, so <laughs> it's gonna be definitely more dramatic and not um, very wearable. I mean, some people would wear this. I don't know who's watching my channel. I definitely wouldn't wear this um, out anymore. Like, it's so funny. Like I used to wear makeup like this all the time. And you know, when they say things are age appropriate, well, I guess, I guess I'm at the age where it's not appropriate anymore. And especially my job, if I was still a makeup artist, then yes, I would definitely find myself okay to wear this. But because I don't do makeup anymore, I would really look weird wearing this kind of makeup. So we are going to do a cut crease with green. So um, so because we are going to do a cut crease, we are going to make the crease pretty heavy. And I think I'm going to start with, I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill JH31, which is a pretty fluffy brush, but it's not as big as the one I usually use because I don't need that much color all over. I'm just going to do a transition color here. And oh, and I'm using the Be Perfect palette. This is the um, Love Tahiti version. Again, more so pretty colors, but I'm gonna be using the greens. And I'm gonna dip in to this color called clay. It's kind of this color called clay. It's like a like a mustardy yellow. And that will transition from the green. So I'm gonna take this in my eye and literally focus it like as a transition, but I'm also going to bring it up just a little bit. And this is why I say I would never wear this kind of stuff. Would I really ever wear these kind of colors out? But I love them. I love this kind of, I love this kind of look. The reason why I'm doing this is the TikTok that I'm doing is, do you remember I did one that was like on natural makeup and I told you guys that's why I was doing like a natural makeup TikTok? Well, this one is about more makeup. So I'm gonna do one that, I, that obviously is not as neutral as I usually do. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to use the JH36. So you can see the difference in the 
the brush heads. Do you see that the one that I used, the yellow, is really, really kind of fluffier, and then the other one's a little bit more tapered, and that way I can pick up a little bit more color. I think I'm going to do the color called Tropics. It's right here. It's called Tropics. So I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to go right beneath that yellow. And again, just bring it in. And then also kind of bring it out a little bit. Oh, and by the way, oh my God, I ordered the Urban Decay and um, Prince collaboration um, kit. I thought it was when I first, if you guys saw my Instagram story when I was so excited that it was coming out, um, I thought it was something you can pick different pieces of. I probably would have got the whole collection anyways, but I didn't realize you had to buy the whole set and it was $250, so yeah. Um, but when it, when it was like, oh, you know, because I, I put my name on the, you know, the list to, you know, make sure I was told when it was coming out, which the launch date was the 27th, which was yesterday. But when I, when I literally like got the message that it's here, you know, click on it and, you know, and pre-order it before it goes out, I was like, oh my God, I was so excited. Clicked on it and realized it was $250. I was like, oh my God, do I really want to do this? Well... Yes, there's no way I would pass up on that. I told you guys I'm not doing packaging anymore. On one of my videos a long time ago, I told you guys I wasn't gonna buy anything for packaging anymore, but I'm sorry. I don't know if any of you guys know or if I've ever mentioned, but I'm like the hugest Prince fan um, ever. Like I even have Prince's name tattooed on my stomach. So yes, I'm a huge Prince fan. So as soon as I heard that was coming out, which my aunt is the one that messaged me and told me that it was coming out because she's a huge makeup addict as well. And she messaged me that and I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. Well, like I said, I was a little shocked when I heard that it was $250, but I'm sorry, I've spent more money on, you know, stupid shit that I, there's no way I was gonna pass that up. I don't even care if the colors I'm not even gonna wear. I mean, there's some stuff in there I will wear, of course, but um, just to have that packaging forever. Like for instance, the most expensive, um, color like collaboration that I got was the Urban Decay with the, or no, it was the Color Pop and it was the Disney Villains. And you know, I got that whole little set and have I ever really worn any of that again? No, really, I think I've used the Misunderstood palette like a couple times, cause it does have a couple cute colors, but all those like jelly glitter things and stuff, I don't use all that. So I literally wasted my money on that, but I still like all the packaging. And, and then I just grabbed this to show you guys. I still have, I'll never use this on my face because it, these are both beauty powders, but just the packaging. This was the Marilyn Monroe Mac and this is the Evil Queen. So these are things that I just want packaging for and I'm, and I'm happy I still have them. I will never use it on my face, but that's why I'm like, I definitely want this Prince one. I would just be so like upset knowing I don't have it that I probably would be one of those people to go onto eBay later on and go try to find it. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I, I went ahead and did it. So I'm excited and of course I'll do a tutorial on that when it comes in. Um, the next color I'm gonna use is this dark green and it's called Forest. Well, I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush and this is the Sigma E25 blending brush. And I will dip into that color Forest. And this one, I'm gonna like start on the bottom right here and just kind of bring it, really pack it on the outer corner of the eye and then just bring it in. I'm gonna quickly do the other eye off camera. And then I'm gonna take the same brush and dip it into um, the black. There's just a black here. I don't have to show you what black looks like. It's just a really deep black and this is called Black Beach. And this one I'm gonna really just press it on the very bottom by the lash line and just kind of bring it up. And this is just gonna smoke out the outer corner. My mirror is so far away from me, it's so hard, so I'm gonna bring it up to me. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing. 
this is what we're looking like right now. The only thing I'm gonna do is just kind of clean off my brush a little bit from that black and just go back into that dark green. Since we use the same brush, I'm just dipping into the dark green and just blending a little bit over like that. Just over the black, just so it really is blended. And you can go back just the same colors again and just kind of blend out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease. I'm gonna use the one that I always use, which is the Pro Conceal from LA Girl. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on a little flat brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I gotta bring the mirror closer to me. Sorry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this crease here. Cut. like that. I'm going to take a little flat concealer brush with nothing on it and just kind of pat right here where the concealer stops and then the you know that blends into the shadow so it's not such a harsh little line right there. So this is a clean brush it doesn't have anything on it and that helps it to you could use your finger too but I really don't want to touch my finger with these dark colors. Usually I do it if I'm just wearing my neutral colors, but I don't want to do it with all these dark colors on me. Next, I'm going to take another green, and this is called Tahiti Green, and it's right here. It actually does have a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't think you can see it on camera. But I'm going to take it with a flat brush, and I'm going to use that to transition these colors right here so they kind of blend together. So I'm just going to bring it closer because I can't see what I'm doing. As you can see, it just kind of transitions those colors together. So because I want the inside to be really shimmery, I'm gonna choose this little loose powder and it's from Ingla. It's like a little um, shimmery loose powder. And I'm going to dip my little flat brush in there. And then I'm just gonna press it right on the inner corner here. Looks really weird without lashes, but trust the process that once I have everything done, it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna go with my um, cotton pad that had my toner on there, and I'm just gonna kinda clean up the outside. I'm gonna just gonna swipe it up just to give a little bit of a clean edge right there. I always use two concealers. One's more my skin tone, one more highlighting. The one that's more my skin tone right now is the Born This Way I have. And this is in the color shortbread. And this is just gonna be what I use to kind of create a little, to get rid of the darkness under my eyes. And then next I'm gonna put my uh, Lasting Perfection Concealer. And this one is gonna go right on the inner corner here. This is all highlighting. And I will go a little bit down my nose, a little bit on my forehead, again, a little bit on the outer part. Sorry, I just literally realized right now my uh, son had his TV so loud over there. So you probably heard it that whole time. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna kind of buff around again where my foundation met the contour. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury powder to just kind of set underneath my eyes. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and this is the number three. I'm gonna go right over where I did that cream contour. I'll also bring it down on my neck. For contouring my nose, I'm gonna use the Hula bronzer. And we'll just go down the side of that, right where that cream contour was. Next, I'm going to take my hourglass powder, translucent powder, and I'm going to use a little wedge, a little cosmetic wedge, and I'm going to put that on the side of my nose. I'm 
as well as under my eyes for the shadow part of it. So I'll be baking that as well as catching any fallout that's gonna happen from underneath the eyes. I'm also gonna take that underneath here So I'm going to take a little smudger brush, I'll take this one. This is the Morphe M508 little teeny brush and I'm going to dip into the black. And I'm just going to put that right on the outer part of my eye just to kind of define the outside. take a little bit bigger. This is the MAC 255. I don't know if they still make this, but it's just a flat, but it's so fluffy. You know how sometimes you get those flat brushes like this, but they're really hard? This one's so fluffy, so it's easy to like blend. So I'm going to take the dark green with that one. And then I'm going to take it and go literally right over that black and kind of more into the, towards the center. I'm gonna go with that Tropics color, which was the like a lighter but brighter green, and kind of blow that down a little bit. As if we're using the same colors. I'm just not gonna use the shimmery green at the bottom. I don't like that look. And last but not least, I'm gonna take this really skinny brush from MAC, and this is the 221, and I'm gonna dip into that first color that we used, which was that yellowish color. And that one's going to go right on the bottom just to diffuse that bottom line. I'm going to use my Inglot black liner and go right. I'm going to use my Inglot black liner and go right in the waterline. So I'm just going to dust off this bake. Okay hey guys, so it cut off. I had to go take my dog out to go to the bathroom and I don't know what happened, but I lost some footage and it was basically just me putting on my highlighter. Um, after I dusted off the bake, I just added the, um, oh, first I sprayed with the a watermelon glow mist just to kind of hydrate my skin after all that powder that I've been doing. And then it also helps your highlighter to stick on better. And I used the Wet n Wild um, Highlighting Gold Bar. I, this was limited edition, so I don't know if it's still available, but it's very similar to the um, MAC um, Whisper of Guilt. Any of these kind of like goldy kind of um, ones I wanted to use because of the greens in my eyes, I kind of wanted a golder kind of um, highlighter. So that's what I used on that. For blush, I'm going to use the NARS little, um, it's the Orgasm in the Liquid. So I'm just gonna squirt just a little bit on my tray and I'm gonna pick it up with a little stippling brush. And I'm just gonna put a little bit um, on my cheekbones here. This is so pretty and I love that pink with the, with the green. I think it looks so cute together. I'll put a little bit on the top of my nose. But yeah. And then I'm actually gonna kinda swirl a little bit off on my towel and then just kinda buff it in. And this just kind of adds like a little bit of a dewiness to your skin as opposed to a powder blush. So you can add a liquid liner if you want. I'm not going to do that because I'm going nice, to wear a nice full lash, so I don't think I'm going to need it. But I'm going to go ahead and do my hair, put some lashes on, and do my lips, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with the finished look. Um, I know it's not every day, um, but it was just a fun little look that I'm doing for my TikTok, like I said. Anyways, I just popped on my lashes and I used the Tati lashes for this one in TL6. And for my lips, I used the NYX liner in Natural 810. And then for the lip gloss, I used from Peaches and Cream Cosmetics, the color called Bambi. I actually like their brand. Um, I've ordered a couple things from them and I also got their set of brushes, which maybe I'll do a review on those as well. Um, but that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.